Welcome to the Star Trek Starship Collection, issue 117, which is the Ferengi, <coughs> Ferengi Starship, 22nd century. Uh, here she is in the box, so she looks okay. Anywho, let's go through the magazine first. So, uh, here we have a nice front view of the ship. And uh, we have a nice underview here. It's got a really not really detailed underview of it here. Uh, then it goes into the uh, the episode of Enterprise uh, where they were where the Ferengi twenty second century was seen. Uh, nice docking port here. Uh, then we get a nice top view and uh, side view of the Ferengi ship. Uh, then we go into the design. Now it was a really quick design. Um, basically, they drew up these three designs. They picked the C, and it didn't, they didn't even bother uh, detailing it or anything else. It went straight off to the CGI people, um, which doesn't really happen very often. Uh, and then we go to the Ferengi on Enterprise. Uh, three of them are very well-known Star Trek actors that have been in. Um, multiples of series and very well known except uh this guy here who uh who was a newbie but the rest of them uh are well known uh now the episode itself it goes in now i didn't realize this um obviously we all know them as ferengi um but through the whole episode uh they were never mentioned as ferengi um, and i think that's quite clever because the first time we sort of get to know them is on the next generation episode uh, where we actually know them as Ferengi uh, but they don't know who they are and then they're told not to come near anywhere Federation ships which obviously lasts quite a long time and and then we have obviously the trivia here and then we have our next issue which we'll be going to have a look at uh, which is issue 118 of uh, it's a freedom class starship it's really strange because it's only got one to sell so that'd be very interesting look to see what that one's like when that one comes out uh, then we obviously have a nice top view there so let's open her up and take a look so here she is out of the packaging and it's a really nice ship I am not going to do the the shake test because this is very fragile it, it does sit in the uh, into the um, the stand as you can see but it is it's very it's just literally resting in there if I touch it it will fall straight out uh, so it does sit on there so my suggest to you if you are displaying the ship is to basically display it somewhere secure not on top of a computer or a desk or something like that. something that can be knocked because it just as you can see you, you only literally have to touch it it does sit in there you have to push it really far in there but it does but like i said once again it just pops up anyway let's have a little look so there's the base of mine uh 2151 for any ship and once again uh, eagle moss has has produced something really interesting never been done before and really really detailed um now this is the top view and it doesn't look too detailed to um to me the top view uh but we have some really nice detail here on the engines and uh as you can see there's some really nice detailing there uh we've also got the uh the docking ports here which have also got some really small detailing there uh then we have the front here with the orange now this does it is orange you can see it very well on the camera uh and then we have a good obviously they've kept in design with these sort of design which was on the ferengi marauder uh so they've got a kept in design but actually 
the top is where all the detail is. Uh, the top isn't where all the detail is. It's on the bottom. <laughs> and there is quite a lot of detail here. So if you have a look here. so um, Now it doesn't say it in the book. But I would imagine these here. And these. Are actually landing struts. Um, uh, for when it lands. Uh, it makes sense as well. Uh, now this. This is either a, a, like a magnet or a grappling hook, or it could be a deflector dish. It looks like a remote controller. <laughs> you could use it as a remote control. But anyway, um, the die cast section is actually the top section here. So uh, all this top section here, you can actually see where it's not die cast, where um, it's a different colour. A different colour here. <clears throat> uh, but the whole the top section is die cast. The bottom section isn't it's uh, the plastic but it's just really detailed underneath and um if we can uh, uh, just just zoom up a little bit on here and you can see how much detail was on here it's really nice detailed on these little tiny sections here and that but yeah I, I, um i would imagine these are landing struts and they sort of come out a bit like a spider's like that maybe a bit like a spiral leg sort of design and uh, this is either a clamping device I would imagine this is some sort of thing so it could maybe clamp to a vessel underneath or it could be lowered to pick up something maybe uh, it doesn't really say it's up for debate I don't think it's a deflector dish it could be I don't I don't really think it is I think it's more of a as the there are more of a the pirates more of a pirate species um <clears throat> especially in the 22nd century anyway um it just uh it just says to me that, that it's more of a sort of a grappling sort of magnet or or something anyway that is really it it's a really nice design it's it's like a gold color like I say, it does sit in the little its little uh, stand, as you can see. And I can move it, so that's quite cool. So it does sit in there. It's just not very, very stable. Um, we've seen some better stands, uh, but this is not one of them. <laughs> and it could have... Uh, it, there could have been other ways of maybe clamping it on. But maybe that's, that's just us. And we're looking at it like that. But anyway, that is it for this issue. Uh, we hope to see you for our next one. Make sure you click to subscribe and we'll see you at the next video.